Okay, so in this short tutorial I'm just going to show you how to do some very basic um, queries on your MySQL table and um, I'm just picking up from where I left off where I had two records in the news table. So here I am in the, uh, the structure of it and if I just browse you can see down the bottom here I have two records right there. Now um, if you want to run queries what that does is it actually um, grabs uh, information from the table that you select based on certain criteria so what we're going to do is go to the SQL link at the top here and that will open up this little interface here now it has a basic one which is select star from news where one now that's just a little default statement what that means is select every bit of information from all records from the news table so if I hit go that should return down the bottom here everything that we saw when we browsed the table. Okay. If I, however, let's return to SQL, if I change this maybe so instead of star for everything, I choose only the headlines from news and click on go. And you notice now in my results it's only returning the headlines from those two records. Similarly, if I, where am I? Go up to SQL again. If I uh, wanted, say, a couple of fields, I could select headline, comma, author from news. In fact, you don't even need the where one there, I can just remove that. And if I do this, it should actually then return headlines and authors. There we go, just like that. So you can see how we're sort of filtering the information that we're actually grabbing. Now um, if you want to change that even more, and I'm just going to show you another way you can do this over here where it says um, edit. That actually brings up a little pop-up menu which is quite neat because you can actually continue to update your um, SQL queries without having to um, navigate through pages um, in the background. So if I want to actually only rec return um, the headline the author for all articles written by um, myself, Mr. Adams, I can see here I've got select headline an author from news where author oops, equals Mr. Adams. Now if I click on go you'll notice down the bottom here it's now returned the headline and the author for only one of the articles, the one that I wrote. So you can actually filter what records get returned and what information about those records gets returned. So uh, that's how you do basic queries in SQL. Now we'll continue to develop those and we'll begin to um, insert records, uh, delete records and edit records using SQL ourselves in future tutorials.